Ready na ka guys. Ah. So na prepare na sila karon guys, ah, kuan guys, ada mga diving equipment guys. Ano yang tangki nya guys. Ya na instruct instruction ang kuan guys ang the instructor. Kita akan mulai dari sini. 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 Kita akan direct inside the air of the tank not directly here so inside this tank so many air so you don't have to worry but anyway everything that we talk about you will start first at shallow water so whatever problem you can stand it's not that oh you have to the surface no never that way okay but anyway so what are those things first you need to know how to use this regulator it is called a regulator now it is already connected This is how it looks when it's not connected to the tank. It's called regulator from the word regulate. No? It regulates the high pressure to our knee. Because this is ambient pressure. This is pressurized to 3,000 psi. So we cannot breathe direct to the tank. It has to pass so many stages until, we, until it gives us what we need. If it needs, gives us 14.7 psi, we don't have to calculate actually. But it just gives you what, whatever we need. So there's no mathematics involved, all right? So if you try to look at this, if I press this one, there's air coming out. This is the demand valve. So what it is? Whenever you need it, when you inhale, air goes out. When you don't need it, air doesn't go out. If the air goes free flow, then there's something wrong with the air. Even with that, we can still breathe, all right? So nothing to worry about, actually. It's just that our air will be depleted fast compared to normal. Okay? Now, going back, as you can see, there's a mouthpiece. Have you tried snorkeling? Yeah, snorkeling is uh, like a pipe with a, with a mouthpiece. Same as this. <laughs> But snorkeling is, it is, it has a pipe that is directly to the surface. But this one, it is connected to the high pressure tank, which gives us air once we are underwater. So as long as we seal this one, we cannot breathe. Uh, we cannot breathe in water. We need to breathe on the air, right? So we have to put it into your mouth properly. So this is how to do it. You open your mouth, ah, bite by your teeth, and then cover. Oh, cover by your lips. Once you cover it by your lips, just gently. Do not bite hard. Just gently. It won't be removed anymore. Okay. Now when you breathe in. When you breathe in, just imagine this is a demand valve. This is what would happen if you breathe in. So you breathe in air to your lungs. When you exhale, this is a non-return return valve, meaning to say when you exhale, the valve opens, air goes out into the water and into the surface. By the time you inhale again, the valve closes, air goes out. So meaning you only breathe in air. Very important piece of 